Okay, let's try this again. Full disclosure, I've already done this video, but the camera decided to just shut off halfway through and stop recording, so we're going to take two on this. Um, I apologize, it's going to be a little less dramatic. Nevertheless, again, <laughs> uh, what ended up showing up in my mailbox today was my September's edition, the third box, of the Angler's Hall. Uh, if you don't know what Angler's Hall is, Angler's Hall is another subscription box system, uh, similar to that of Lucky Tackle Box, Mystery Tackle Box, uh, Bait Crate, etc., and Monster Bass and all them. Um, however, it differs in a very specific way, where Monster Bass, eh, Lucky Tackle Box, eh, Mystery Tackle Box, eh, <laughs> they, they focus on primarily the baits. So it's for the angler who might not always have the baits that they look for or not understand what kind of baits are right at the moment being the, the lunker catchers, you know what I mean? The pig, the, the pig pullers. So you'll be able to have the opportunity through those tackle subscription plans to get a monthly supply of random baits picked by random people um, that allows you to step outside your comfort zone and collect uh, you know, baits that you might not otherwise want to throw and use. <clears throat> so, Angler's Hall, on the other hand, doesn't step you outside of your comfort zone. They know that you're an angler who already has his go-to, uh, his go-to baits. If you like spinner baits and you go always, you always get KVDs, uh, you know, or you always go for crankbaits, or you always go for, for, uh, Senkos. You always get a Gary Yamamoto Sanko. It's always Green Pumpkin Red Flake. It's always a Texas rigged on a on a three out hook, and that's just your comfort zone. Angler's Hall doesn't doesn't mess with that. Angler's Hall doesn't focus primarily on the baits. They focus on the utility, the utilitarian side of it. So where you don't get a whole lot of baits, you do get a lot of tools. Um, I don't need the knife today because I've already opened the box. Like I said, unfortunately, the camera decided to act up. Uh, 95% way through the stream. And since I don't do edits, um, I'm just going to redo the whole thing. <clears throat> so, September's Angler's Hall box. At the end of this, uh, you tell me in the comments, do you think this box knocked out of the park? Um, do you think that it gave me the value? I pay $109.99, that's shipping included, um, for the advanced tier box. There's two tiers. Um, there's a standard pro box, which is the, the regular box, and then you have the advanced, which adds extra items onto the pro box item list to give you an additional $100 worth of vitam, uh, value in your, in your box. So the standard box pro set gives you, uh, they say, I think it's like $75 or $70 worth of value, uh, worth of items, uh, give or take, and the pro box guarantees you $170 worth of that value. So. When you step up to the advanced from the pro, they give you that additional $100 of retail value uh, items into your package. First off, uh, again, I already opened this. Uh, first item in the pro box set for $13.49 is a TRC spinning rod glove. So this is a nylon rod sleeve. I do like this. I like, I like uh, the webbing is not too open, so you're not likely to get your hooks tangled into it. It's got a good bell opening for, a, um, for your rod, so it's easy to slide it in, especially if you're rushing to swap out from a spinning rod to another rod. You want to pull this off quick or you want to slam this on to throw it down in your car to go head off to another spot. It's got a nice open bell. Uh, a good bungee cord um, on the loop end here that allows you, if you're, if you're fishing from... Uh, <clears throat> fishing from a kayak, you can just throw this over and it'll keep it from bouncing out when you hit wakes or waves. Uh, the other thing that I do like about this is the bell end of the of the, um, the tip of the, of the rod sleeve. It's not just dead cut and stitched solid. It has a, a rubber dipped end and then the bell end is a little bit further back. And what I like about this particular over the lower end uh, rod sleeves that just kind of dead end and, and snip it right there and just stitch it straight across. If you have your rod in there and the tip's right up against that stitching and you put it in the back of your car and you hit the brakes for an emergency, this is now slamming your rod tip directly into the stitching. 
The way that this is, with this rubberized tip and the stitching down here, which gives you that distance, now there's cushion between what impacts the back of the seat or whatever, it's in your car, and your rod tip. It, it slows that down so you're not likely to damage that first um, line, to, uh, line eye. Um, so I do like that about this. This is more, a more just in, it's intuitive to protecting your reel or your rod a little bit better. So for $13.49, they gave you a TRC spinning rod glove, rod sleeve. Um, again, it's supposed to, it has a list on the card here of sizes, but they never checked off what size it is. So I have no idea what size rod this is going to fit until I unreel the whole thing and throw it on and see if it fits. I think it, it looks like it's going to fit like a 7.75, 7 something like that, something moderate. <clears throat> Next. They gave us live targets. They call them Freestyle Frog. It's a two-pack for $9.99 live target Freestyle Frog. Now, I don't call these frogs. I call these toads. They are toads. They are not frogs. A frog is a soft body presentation. Uh, this is a solid soft plastic. So what they do with live target, which is interesting, it's something that I personally had wanted to get in contact with a lure maker, uh, particularly a, a hard baits, swim bait lure maker. Um, but what they're doing right now is embedding an original soft plastic uh, lure inside of plastisol encasement that gives you this, this new level of depth to the, uh, to, the, to the bait itself. So you have your original, uh, they do such amazing work at Live Target. Um, at, at, at having realistic paint schemes and with this new system with this embedded plastic system that they have going um, you get a real depth of eyeball it looks like you have an eye socket and an eye in there it doesn't look like it's a uh, glued on little like bobbly eye stuck to the outside of a bait it really does give a realistic interpretation of, a, of in this case a frog <clears throat> um, and that soft clear plastisol encasement allows also for the coloring on the inside as you get struck, um, the teeth marks from the fish aren't damaging the original paint scheme. So this will last a lot and look more pristine for a lot longer. Um, what I did like about this, and you'll see in a minute because I was intuitive, I, this is the kind of bait that I would throw on the back of a buzz bait rather than just straight on uh, you know, a hook, Texas rigged or, or thrown uh, on its own. I, I would actually prefer to use this kind of bait on the back of a buzz bait, especially this time of year, end of fall, or beginning of fall, excuse me, where the, the uh, top water bait starts, uh, top water bite comes back for baits. And these paddles on the back of these are amazing action. Um, even just, you know, holding it, you can see they, they, they flutter and they catch a lot of water and give a ton of thump and kick and, and water displacement. And you have, you add the buzz bait on the top and this is just definitely uh, an annoying, atrocious sound sight, and 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 it's a it's a it's a fish catcher. Uh, nevertheless, they do charge nine ninety nine. Again, uh, Live Target is trying to get into that more premium bait tier um, kind of club. Uh, I do find them a little bit overpriced for for what it is. Two of them for ten bucks, uh, four for ten bucks. I would think is more logical. Um, but hey, it is what it is. It is a name brand company. Uh, so for mass produce for what it is, $9.99. So you got rod sleeve for $13.49, live target frog, or toads, they call them the live star target freestyle frog for $9.99. Next up, a CUDA 4-inch fish fillet knife. Um, they did great. We got the CUDA scissors, uh, which are awesome for braid and cutting things. What I like about this knife in particular, um, what's great about CUDA is you can go to like your local Walmart and pick up CUDA products, but I like this as a titanium uh, clad or titanium um, bonded uh, blade. It's, uh, it's a good quality surgical stainless steel, so it's, it's corrosion resistant. It's not rust proof stainless steel. It's not surgical stainless steel, but it is a uh, 4116 corrosion resistant stainless steel, so that's a good quality in itself. Uh, what I like is the, the CUDA, the Barracuda scale style grips. Um, lend themselves when you get fish slime or, or your hands are wet or greasy. Um, you still have a lot of texture and tactile 
um, grip so you're not likely to slip on these, which can be dangerous, especially with a sharp fillet knife on a boat, which is rocking in the, in the waves. Um, the other thing that I added that I do like is this oval-shaped cutout here is great for putting your thumb in when you're filleting to go across the, the ribs of the fish or down the bone to fillet or put it this way and you can really get down onto a cutting surface and really shave really thin, thin fillets. You can probably use this to you know pull the skin off of the fish really easily, having that extra little bit of, of, uh, of a placement for your thumb to add pressure closer to the tang of the blade as opposed to holding it here and having a little bit more flex. So you can adjust how much flex you get in the tip just by the placement of where your thumb is along the along the, the handle of the blade right up into that nice little cupped um, little rest there as well as having a good thumb keeper here for you know yanking up or put your index finger in there and push away always cut away um, <clears throat> when you know people don't always cut away sometimes you just have to kind of be very careful that you don't stab yourself but you gotta pull through but uh, but yeah that's that's great I like the design it's very ergonomical and I think it's 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 a grip that's comfortable in the hand. It's not gonna it's not gonna be very tiresome to your to your hands. I have bad wrists, so um, it's good to know. Again, Cuda Fish Fillet Knife, nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Flambo Zeus Max, or excuse me, Z Rust Max um, Tough Tainer. So this is the Flambo's version um, of their Rust Preventer, their their Z Rust. Uh, infused plastic so embedded in the plastic that makes up the container as well as in the dividers themselves is a rust inhibiting agent so this is a nice little small box it's not huge um, but in these little dividers and in the plastic itself is a is a rust wicking inhibitor it basically you put your your hooks and stuff and your baits in here and rather than the moisture collecting on the hook itself this will wick that moisture out of the air and onto it and absorb it so that it prevents the, uh, the corrosion from, from starting so rapidly. It prevents um, the rust from, from creating itself on the surface of your, of your hooks. So it makes your baits last a heck of a lot longer. Awesome, awesome box. We also got in a couple of box, or in a previous um, um, Angler's Hall, got that nice little uh, uh, sticky box. And we also got the jig head box, so that was pretty cool. They want $12.99 for this small box. It's a little pricey for the size, but um, it is Flambeau. It is the their, their rust inhibiting agent, so eh, I'll be all at May that it's a retail price. I'll, I'll say, yeah, that's about accurate. Again, going back to these frogs, uh, I was nice. it was nice to see for $5.99 they have a War Eagle buzz bait. So... Here's a little War Eagle buzz bait, and you missed it because I had to re-record this, but when I took this out of the package, there was just a little hint of rust on the, uh, on the hook. Uh, so I just I took care of that real easy. Um, it's not part of the box, but it's something that I always carry around just in case. But I went to the Harbor Freight Tool Company, which is this little low-budget, cheap-like tool place. There's things you can buy which are, are worthwhile, and there's a lot of things that I wouldn't waste your money on, even for like 10 bucks. But uh, what I got was this 12-part needle file set. Uh, I forget how much it was. it was. I'm sure it was under $5. But it comes with 12 little plastic-covered uh, needle files of all different shapes and sizes. This one's a um, faceted three sides. Um, this one here is just a straight, like an ice pick, perfect circle. Um, and then you have some flat files and some boxes, different shapes and sizes and different file grits. But uh, I keep this exactly for situations like this. This little War Eagle buzz bait had a little bit of rust on the hook from when they manufactured it. There must have been moisture in the air when they packaged it. And with this little file, not only can you take care of little things like minor surface rust just by gently giving a little touch up, take that surface rust off. If you hook into a nice size bass and he tips out out your uh, the hook tip, you can always come back with this and just take the burrs off that hook tip, hook edge, and really straighten out and shine up and, and make razor sharp, needle point precise hooks just by having a cheesy little you know five dollar needle file kit. So that's another health, health, helpful hint and tip. Um, 
inexpensive, like I say. Uh, I'm not promoting the company. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff in there that's absolute garbage. Uh, but there's things that are worthwhile picking up even if you only use it once or twice. It's cheap enough to throw away and, and replace later on down the line. Or you can go find your own personal preference of uh, needle file kits from a, a higher grade manufacturer, uh, certainly. So that right there, the War Eagle Buzzbait, $5.99. Um, I think it's overpriced for what it is. Uh, I know War Eagle is more of a name brand, but for the skirting material they use, their hooks aren't the greatest of hooks. Their buzz bait is this aluminum stamp. They put a little uh, sticker on it, which I do like. Um, and the reason why is the sticker with these little spheres, these little circles, as it's spinning, it will emulate and mimic the scale pattern on a shiner, on a shad, on a minnow. Um, because of the rotation and the flash, it'll give you the illusion of... Uh, a semicircle over a semicircle over a semicircle, which gives you that illusion of this, this, the, the scale pattern of a fish. So that helps attract more fish um, as it's buzzing just barely subsurface um, when they're looking up. But uh, all in all, it's a good buzz bait, and like I say, the color matches up perfectly. This little chartreuse white, little black, black pepper flake with these uh, little toads that they threw in there. So throwing this on as a trailer to the buzz bait is gonna be a fish catcher, guaranteed. Uh, one thing, again, it's not a higher quality manufacturer, single wire bent. Um, it's got that open loop. I will again leave uh, the little picture window you can click on at the end of the video uh, to see the uh, video that I made on how to close this up for your buzz baits, for your, um, for your spinner baits. Uh, and, and make it a lot easier to tie on, tie on quicker, and prevent you from losing the bait uh, from the line shaving against the, 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 the line, or shaving against the, the wire here, or, um, and, and getting chafed until it breaks off, or the line riding up or down the shaft of this and causing your bait to have an inaccurate action. So I will leave that link at the end of the video <coughs> when I post this. That is the pro tier. So those items are on every pro member, every, uh, every Angler's Hall subscri subscribers will get that. After that, when you bump up the extra money to get the advanced package, they add to it additional items. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's a many. And in this case, we have two advanced items, and it's kind of really cool. Um, first and foremost, we got another item from Favorite. Last box, quickly. <clears throat> Last box, they gave us this Favorites Defender um, fishing rod. So we got this two-piece rod um, from Favorite in the last month's subscription box. Hasn't been used yet. Um, and I was asking you what kind of reel I should buy for it. Uh, should I go high-end? Should I go a little lower? Should I get like a Shakespeare or... or uh, you know, get a pen reel or something like that, throw on there. And, uh, you know, I got a great, a, a bunch of different um, ideas. What I settled on between, you know, my instant messenger and what little comments I had on the last video and uh, messages on, on, um, on uh, my Twitter account and, and you know, DMs, um, I decided I'm going to buy a new reel and I'm going to buy a rod for that reel that matches up. So it's going to be brand to brand because I'm trying to keep all of my combos uh, where the brand of the reel matches as best as possible to the quality and brand of the, of the rod. That won't always be true, but nevertheless, this month, to go for that rod, because why buy a reel now? They're giving me a favorite reel. So that's a, you know, it's not a greatest rod in the world. It's, it's a $100 rod. It's an introductory rod from Favorite. It's not one of their higher tier rods. Um, but nevertheless, uh, they're giving you a $79.99 six stick uh, Favorite USA casting reel. So this is a bait casting reel. It holds, go back over these scripts again. Uh, it holds 10 pound line, 215 yards. 125 yards of 14 pound test and the gear ratio on this it's a, it's a HG it's not really an HG it's not an 8 to 1 but it's a 7.0 to 1 so a 7 to 1 gear ratio it's not doesn't have any special uh, line guide 
orifice. It's just a standard circle. It's not like the ovals or the triangles or what have you that help a little bit better in casting. Um, I think it's got a little bit of adhesive or glue. I guess it, oh, it did it just popped right off um, from them making sure that that, uh, that uh, eye encasement is, uh, is protected. It's a good, good enough reel. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not one of these people that do like tackle advisor that do, ooh, it spins. Yes, a reel is supposed to spin. Unless you have this in your hand, you really can't judge the quality. Um, I can only give you my interpretation. It's, it's a favorite raw, uh, favorites USA reel. It's a 7.0 to 1. So when I spool it up and I get a chance to cast it, see what it's, what it's like when, it, when the line spins off, um, how well the, the, the spool actually acts and reacts, and get a fish on it to fight to see how the drag works, I have to kind of leave judgment open. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty decent, you know, it's a small, very palmable. Uh, I get the left hand whenever possible. When you, when you sign up for these, you're going to fill out a questionnaire, and it's going to ask you, are you a left-handed retrieve or right-handed retrieve? I'm ambidextrous. I have rods that are reels that are right-hand and reels that are left-hand. But because left-handed reels are very hard to come by most times, especially on deals and sales, in getting a package where I get free stuff, I decided to opt to tell them I'm a left-handed. Uh, and this way, I'm more apt when they do have the opportunity to send a left-handed bait caster, I can get a left-handed bait caster. Obviously, with conventional spinning reels, the handle comes off and you can swap them 90% 90, 90 of the time. Um, but I'm comfortable, like I said, either way. But when it, the option's there that I have a chance that they're going to give you, give everybody a, re, uh, a reel, I have the option of getting the left-handed reel, which is a more of a rarity. Um, and certain reels just do not come left-handed. Certain manufacturers don't make a left-handed version of that specific reel. And in that case, I can certainly get the right-hand side. Um, so this is a $79.99 uh, spinning reel, or excuse me, bait casting reel. Um, I'm, I'm actually pleased. I'm going to throw that sucker right here, and I'll have a brand new favorite combo with the favorites rod and the favorite six stick reel, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can catch a, a decent sized fish on that. And last but not least for the advanced tier is a Plano's Wake Weekend Series soft tackle bag. So this is a soft cider, it's a Plano tackle bag. Um, it's not a huge one, it's a, what did, what did I say? I forgot what I said it was. I'll look inside in a second. Um, it's got two good open mesh pockets on either side, and they're reinforced heavy, thick rubber. So it's a nylon that's been dip, dipped in rubber, um, and it's really sturdy, so I'm glad for that. You can put things in there and not worry about it. Cutting the, the little nylon webbing, it's not cheap, cheap made, it's, it's quality. Uh, has a decent set of little um, loops in the front here for collecting tools, a nice small pocket with a tiny little key clip, like a carabiner key clip here. You can snap something on there. I probably snap on my uh, line scissors or something there. Decent sized shallow pocket. Again, those little loops. Comes with two small planos in the box here. Um, so you get these two. There might be just enough room, we'll find out, uh, for the little flambeau to go in the middle. Probably not. It doesn't look like this stretches much um, fore and aft. But it uh, comes with two of those planos in it. Um, this is a 3500 series. So it's got a very good reinforced lid, um, double stitched on the inside. And it's got a nice little beadwork. Uh, rib down the nylon loop down the middle. Uh, it comes with a little extra arm sling if you want to throw it over your shoulder rather than just hand, hand carry it. I don't know why. Something this small is certainly hand carryable. Um, but this is great if you're going to be, you know, I'm going to keep this in my trunk probably. Or I might just leave it for a giveaway later down the line. We'll see. Um, but this is great for somebody to throw in their car. Uh, you know, keep that as it may, and, uh, and and just keep a little bit of tackle in there for a day trip on a lunch break. Um, one of the things I keep in my car on a regular basis is I have a little Doc Demon, 
and it's the spinning dock demon. It's not, it's not the uh, the spin cast. It's a regular spinning reel, and that thing, you know, if I have 45 minutes or an hour and a half on a break, or I'm driving down the road and I see a nice little juicy pond, I can pull over something like this, and that little dock demon um, makes an ex excellent little, you know, relaxation destination, five minutes of fun, and see what you can pull out of a small place. Um, so that's always good to have handy. <clears throat> and that, again, they want $22.99. So just to recap real quick, um, the TRC uh, rod sleeve was $13.49 in the Pro Series. The Live Target soft body or soft plastic, excuse me, frogs were $9.99. The Cuda fillet knife, the 4-inch fillet knife was $19.99. The Flambeau Z-Rust um, tough tainer, small little tackle box holder was $12.99. And the War Eagle Buzzbait was $5.99. That concludes the Pro Box side. And that value was $62.45. Now, when you go up to the $109.99 advanced box purchase, they added the six-stick bait caster uh, casting reel for $79.99. And the Plano's soft tackle bag here for another $22.99, bringing the entire package of the advanced value for this subscription to $165.43 retail value. So again, tell me in the in the uh, comments down below, do you think that I got my money's worth out of this? Uh, $109.99, that includes the shipping, so I figure if the $9.99 pays the actual shipping cost, I pay $100 for the items. This says I got $165 worth of items. Um, I'm going to say I have not been disappointed yet. I was very pleased to see a spinning reel from 1-3 Fishing in my first box. Totally unexpected to get a reel right off the gate. Uh, the, the rod in the second box was, you know, it's an entry level rod. It's not something, it's not, you know, a Fluger high quality $200, you know, uh, medium heavy rod. It's just, uh, you know, your, your basic standard fishing rod. Um, it does have a good little, you know, fishing uh, rod keeping uh, sling here, so the Defender's all right for what it is. <clears throat> and now in this package and the, on the high tier end, getting a decent favorites um, favorites reel. I've never had a favorite brand reel, uh, least of all a bait casting reel by them. Um, I'll be interested to see. You know, again, I'm assuming this is more of a low end Chinese um, entry level quality uh, item. Uh, it doesn't have a really high quality thumb plate. It's just like this, this kind of chintzy, softy plastic uh, style thumb thumb rest. It's not like it's a raised thing for any real quality, but it is what it is, and it's free overall to me. So I'm pleased to have that. We'll see how how good it is, and in a later uh, video, I'll I'll find out and I'll uh, I'll let y'all know my uh, my overall interpretation of how uh, how well it. It sufficed out on the water. Um, again, this is uh, foul mouth fishing. Uh, before I leave, I want to give a great big thanks and, uh, and a shout out in return to uh, the Juggalo Fishing Posse. Uh, slash gills out there, man, it was, it's my pleasure to help you. Don't worry, don't mention it, don't mention it, bro. Um, but uh, I appreciate him shouting me out on his channel. I'm going to leave a link for his channel um, down in the description below this video so you guys out there. Go check him out. He's, uh, he's a big fan of the Insane Clown Posse and, uh, and of course all the, the offshoots of that whole group. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an old school I, ICP kind of fan myself so I will, I will let that out the bag. I don't look it but hey man it is what it is. But uh, So for, for all you out there a big happy and healthy whoop whoop Wicked Clown love. And to the rest of you, tight lines, God bless, and uh, I'll catch you on the next cast. Foul Mouth Fishing. Peace.